So we're continuing our shopping tour with Sam Grassi. So Sam, we've, we've gone around uh, Whole Foods and we've learned a lot. And what more can we learn from you? Because already I think that the viewers are going to get more information from these few videos than they have in perhaps their lives when it comes to choosing better foods for better health. Remember, be simple, stay on the perimeter of a store, stay away from extreme packaging, try to get as many colorful foods, especially the vegetables, the herbs, the spices, the salads, even our fruit. Make sure we get a lot of colorful choices. Pick up lemons and pink grapefruit that you can put into your water, the juice of them, to make your water even more alkaline. Drink eight glasses of eight eight ounce glasses of water a day with lemon in it or herbal teas in their place. Black organic coffee is alkalizing, putting sweeteners and creams that will make them acidic, so stay with the blacks if you can, stay with the low fat if you're going to dairy or go to dairy alternatives, and if you are eating animal protein, consider one meal a day or one day a week in which you eat plant-based protein such as tempeh or tofu or legumes or seeds or nuts. That's really a good healthy tip, but at the end of the day, 75% of our food choices should be foods that leave an alkaline ash in the body and 25% of our food choices should be acidified food. It's all about balance. So good, vibrant health is maintaining an alkaline balance. Excellent. Well, this was amazing. I'm here at Whole Foods with Sam Grassi, creator of Greens Plus, and we've talked about pH food and, of course, how to make smarter food choices. All this information will obviously be on eatsmarthsmart.com and I'll have a lot more details for viewers. Thank you again. This is Kritia from eatsmarthsmart.com and thank you to you, Sam. And remember to go to www.genuinehealth and you can download a chart Ooh, that excellent. explains all of the food choices and it even breaks it down to low acid, medium acid, and high acid foods, low alkaline, medium alkaline, and high alkaline foods. And within a day or so, you get used to that chart. And then after that, you know what are your alkalizing foods and what are your acidifying foods and how to combine them. It's quite easy. Excellent. Well, I'll make sure to link to that page so that people can actually have quick access to the chart. But that definitely is important. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. You're my favorite. You are I love mine. the work that you do. Bravo, bravo, bravo. Thank you, thank you, thank All you. All the listeners out there, you're very fortunate to have this. Oh, my gosh. I'm totally blushing. Thank you, Sam. Thank you very much.